Hello and welcome once more to a brand new edition of the program What's the Latest here on Light TV, a program that keeps you in the know of the latest happening, latest development, faction, entertainment, and so many more latest. Well, today again, we are on our feet all the way here at a Junction. We are going to go as far as the market, talking to people who are actually speaking on the game that took place on, on Sunday at the SKD Sports Complex. You know, it was the county meet between the march went between Montserrado and Bon County. Well, we know that Montserrado carried a cup, the trophy, in fact, they won it again for the second time. Well, we want to analyze the game. We're talking to people who's going to be telling us how they felt about the entire game. So we are here at ERWA Junction. The program is What's the Latest? You can join us more on this program on our webpage, www.lighttvonline.com or better still on our YouTube page, Light Communications Investment. We are located at Capital Bypass, adjacent to the Labira National Police Station. The program is What's the Latest? Join me, your host, Louisa Gizzi, as we talk to people on this side of Monrovia. I'm Thomas Blasting Jane. Thomas, where do you live? I live around the 72nd Bell. Welcome on the program, What's the Latest? Today we are actually discussing the past game that took place on SKD Sports Complex in March between Mansa and Bon County. Well, you know, it's the last game that took place on Sunday. Well, what do you think of the game that took place on Sunday? Yeah, the game was not bad to watch the game from the beginning to the end. Some of the things that uh, uh, might be good is that uh, the guys, they are young stars, they need support. They are coming up more especially. What we really need to do in this country for sports is that you will notice that between the county meets and the national league, the county meet has more momentum than the national league. Reason being for me is that uh, I believe that the county league has more support or more money into it than the national league. So you notice that because most time uh, for the county meet, for the people from the rural counties, they think want to support, want to see their, their team, their county go up, want to see the players move ahead. So they will always come to cheer the boys, the girls, and then they will all pay good money. And then after that, boys will be happy now. Because in most cases, if I'm not happy to play the game, I will not play well because both of us young people now we have family. So once we play and then we can see anything, out of, the, what, out of the game that we play, it means that our family will be starving and then we will not, go, we'll not keep going back to the game. At the end of the day, we we'll end up doing something else. And it, at the end of the day, when we find out, there's okay, the guys play good football before, but he did not do anything. For me, simply because there was no support in the game. So what I ask my young man, uh, big people to do, more especially people that we call money people in this country, more especially uh, law sports, is that to invest into the game. And when you find out your People going out like in the days where you see the president now, George Manning, we are went out to, 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 to advance and then he make money and then since that George we are 11, we have not seen a good kind of people already coming up. So we need more support for the game, for our country, Liberia, to keep moving, to keep moving. Because since the George we are team of players left the scene, we our country have not even gone anywhere else in the game. Yeah, yeah, today we'll be playing a uh, waffle tournament. We'll go to see again what are the things the guys will do. If there, there's no support, we'll keep just playing and we'll not go anywhere. So at the end of the day, the sports will die. And for us, Liberia, we love sport. Though we have challenges and things, but we love sport. So when the money is in the game and when the, the, the encouragement is in the game, we'll always go there to see and cheer our boys, see how best they can play well and then how, what, what they will do. Yeah, the play, the play was not bad, it was good, but we lacked the coordination. Yeah, for Pongkante, Pongkante has a good team, they can really push the ball, they can really play the ball around, but to do the finishing touches is hard, so we urge them to do better. And for Maserado, they can try, they can push, but they don't have that coordination, that one-to-one -one coordination that will make you feel very good when you go to play, that entertainment was not really there. 
Yeah, so we encourage them to do better, to do more, and then they, they, the big people on the team to do more, to do more encouragement for them. So in that in that light, then we they, they will improve. And how was the security like on the field? Because you know most of the time people have problem with uh, football matches, most especially for the security area. So how was the security like? Mm. For my own observation, I believe that security score zero. Reason being that uh, uh, the game was just national. What if it had been international, looking at the number of people around the perimeter and are not even far from the page? It will, it will have caused a serious problem for us. And it is, I don't know what uh, it is, a, it is a disease for our country, for us, the Liberians, to do those kind of things. But for me, I don't see it necessary. We should not be playing all of the time and we see that people jumping over the fence, even breaking into it and then getting on the page to do what? They did not call you there. Why do we go, go do there? So uh, I, I, I strongly against that and I condemn that we should not do it. It is not good. Today it might be just counting me, it might just be among us. But if we something that we used to, we get used to it, and then why if tomorrow all other people come to play and then even the players on the field self will not feel satisfied because their, their life at risk. It's possible that perhaps somebody score or because the men score against you, you don't like the men you get on the field, then do something. Even the referee, it is not good for us. It's bad. So, congratulations once around again because they have carried a cup with Southampton. Yeah. Uh, I congratulate them. I wish them well. And I pray that because Mosrata was my team, and I pray that. Uh, Thank you, and I pray that uh, the next country meet will carry for triple champ. Wow. So we we'll keep motivating the guys, and then we know that tomorrow they'll do better. I'm more about banner. Ah, I live here, Okay, you are on the program. What's the latest? Today we are discussing a match that took place Sunday between Montserrat and Hope County. First of all, which one of the teams is your actually uh, supporting? Well, I was supporting Bon County. Yeah, although I'm from Bon, but I support that Bon County. So tell me about the game. What are you listening to? Do you listen to it on radio or are you monitoring for the free television? Tell me about the game. Yeah, I follow the game through the radio, but uh, my take on the game is that uh, for the third place, I have a problem uh, with that game that took place on the very Sunday. That game should have been played on a Saturday, and then uh, Sunday could be the final. But to have that game play on Sunday, I, ha I really had to see your exception to that. Yeah, it wasn't really necessary. So uh, the organizer of that game should really put themselves together and they'll put things in order so that at least, you know, because once you have the game on Saturday, you have more people watching the game on Saturday. More especially at the third place. Then Sunday will be the final. You also have people going for the game. And maybe they get intake too, maybe we could raise that money too for the game. Okay, so that is my point. But for the game, I really didn't watch the game, but uh, well, everything went well because I followed it through the game. And uh, Rado did extremely well. Yeah, so really, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. But also, I want uh, Bon Kante uh, to do, uh, you know, to work on their team. Yeah, to work on their team. You see, uh, the game comes with energy. And uh, you see, uh, from what I heard from the radio, Le Bon Kante were really not working up the ball. Yeah, you see, so Marcel Rado dominated the game and they won the game. So, you know, to go to reach the final and you don't perform, uh, you know, yeah, so that is my problem. Yeah, so by the way, the game was fun. Uh, you know, there must be a winner. Uh, thank God Marcel Rado won the game and everything went well. I didn't hear anything about people uh, being wounded during the game, and uh, so I'm grateful to God for that. So that means the security were actually on course? All the security were on course. They were on course. They did extremely well. I must commend them. Yeah. Your final uh, word to the players of Mansa Battle, your final congratulations, speak to them. Ah! Uh, <laughs> because you know, uh, I told you, uh, you, uh, you were against them, yeah. but uh, they have yeah, oh, um, I want to say congratulations to the team of Maserato. Uh, it is their second time in a row taking the trophy. 
Yeah, but my, I don't hope for them carrying it again. Uh, I pray that another, another country should, should take the trophy this, camp, this time around. Yeah, I really hope in another country. We can have one, one country dominating the league. So for me, I see it like no competition. Yeah, so my hope and prayer is that Moise Rado shouldn't take it this time around. I'm Robert G. Jesse. Oh, I live Habel. Welcome on the program. Good. Today we are discussing a match that took place um, between um, Bone County and Montserrat County. The, how do you call it? The county beat. So we know the, the, the final took place on Sunday. So tell me, how was the game from your own point of view? Well, the game was very fantastic. You know, since the election, the the, the county being you know, postponed and at the end of the day, you know, we came to the final conclusion and we went through the game, the final, the two teams that qualified to play the final, the me at the SKD, and the, game, the match was played on Sunday. But then, actually what happened during the, during the day of the game, I know I know went on the field, but the information by radio and other people that were there, they said that the play was you know, overcrowded, and for me, there's an old age something. That's something that's been happening, especially during the day of Charles Taylor, when we used to watch football games at the school complex there. Whenever you're sitting down, maybe you want, you, want, you want wake up to go and urinate, somebody will just come from behind you, you know, and hit you. Somebody will do, 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 do hold you and chunk you, or, or another person will leave rolling on the car around the perimeter. I think Labrinth should deceive from that. That's something that's been happening. And also to our security, they, sometimes they allow people to just enter for little or nothing, you know. What kind of thing that we should deceive from? It's not really good for our society, especially us all looking at all as a labyrinth. It's not really good for all. So my advice to the 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 the, the, the organizers, you know, LFA, they should see reason, you know, how to continue what kind of thing because it, it, it show bad thing for labyrinth us out there. By listening to the radio, how can you compare the two teams in terms of play? Where well, the two teams play, you know, there's a saying say that when two elephants fight. One had to end the and drag and feed the weight. So, Bunk County and Mozzarella, but on the other side, you know, Mozzarella is a, the, 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 the mother land. So, it was not easy. And in the press on the president and the vice president, it was not easy, but the game was played. You know, it was competitive, but at the end of the day, you know, somebody had to take a day. So, the game was very fun. Yes, I might admit. Yeah, you see, for me, I'm a sport lover. I've been supporting a team before. And what I, in my own mind, is that since we had a kind of a, you know, a, a unique program in sport, let the county meet, I want for the county meet to serve as the Premier League for, for Liberia. And in that, in, in that league, every country in the, in the, in, in, in the country, you know, they will contribute towards that. And from there, we'll know the Google players from the country and we can put them together to be part of the national team. I think it would be best for Liberia than to just take people, oh, oh, or lab, lab, uh, new Liberian discover in Sudan, you know, they will join the national team, you know, where you, they may have no, you know, a, 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 a good relationship with the players that die, you know, at the end of the day when they go play, you can't get anything good from them. So, our, our, our young brothers that are coming all year, we can take them from here, we train them, you know, through the country meet, you know, we can get a better team. Yeah. Your final words of Maserato. Maserato, we say thank you. I know Maserato fear, well, you know, they don't want to make a grand basso because I have a grand basso. I'm Emma Z. Johnson. I live at 77 Market. Welcome on the program, Maserato. Thank you. Today we are discussing the past game that took place between, um, took place SKDs, most complex between Maserato and Bone County. The county mid final. So tell me, did you monitor the game anyway? Oh yes, I follow the game. Tell me about the game. What did you uh, what, what I observed about the game, the game was fun. And one thing I know, before the game, say, I even told some of my colleagues that Bongano are going to lose the game. Due to some reason. Because for me, I play the game. And I know about the game. I've also served as a junior coach before. Uh, Bongano has a very good team. But they don't usually last that time. Bongani got a good midfield, they got a good defense. And the top are very weak. 
when Ewa Bonganita has the chances to utilize the ball, he was sporting. And that that's a big breakdown to our team. For ball, Maserato, Maserato doesn't have a very good team. Maserato play the game with idea. Maserato supply the tap. And Maserato tap are very aggressive. The tap, the tap are always utilize the chances. For every three chances Maserato has in any game, he will try to utilize one. And when any team that can play like that, will always lead to positive success. So I wonder the, the problem I saw with Pong County. But for me, if I were the, 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 the coach of, of Pong County, Pong County could, could come back in the second half. But it like, they were playing like they say, they so they, 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 they too afraid. And for the ball game, you don't be afraid of the opponent. Ball game don't have one system. The system you start with, if you see it not working, now that the reason why they got 15 minute break. The 15 minute break there is to change formation. It's about you calling your teams together and see how best you can change the formation. Not because you start with 4-4-2, you should end with 4-4-2. No. You start with 4-4-2, if possible, that you can change the formation. It will, it, will, it will lead to result. But do you think the fear came from that they were playing people for who? Because sometimes they have their advantage, but this is not Serato, they are not important, they are here. Do you think it was something because of that that also brought fear to them? I think so. I think so. I don't fear. I, I think fear was also there too. Because when it comes to the country, for me, I can tell you for free, most Serato is supposed to be the highest carrier. Because Maserato is the mother of all counties. If you check in Maserato here, you'll find all of these counties here. And majority of the players that are going out to play for all of these counties, they're from Raya Maserato. So I think they fair they were playing the mother. So they're cooling. And yeah, you can be you can be bigger than your mother and father. Yeah. Pierre can never be older than, than, than Abra. So that's how I look like. Uh, uh, when it comes to the counties, let me start from the counties. First of all, we Liberians have the right to prioritize our country first in sport. What we have to do, for me, I'm recommend to the FA. If the FA can just buy my idea, I think it will help to develop sport in Liberia. That all of this country leader just went on. They shouldn't just dash the children in the dark. Take these children, incorporate them into the National League. In a sense that every country should have one team into the National League. If a country can produce three teams, where you get first, second, third division. If all of these countries can produce three, three teams to come into the National League, then for the third division league, you get all countries in it. The second division league, you get all countries. The fourth division league, you get all countries. Liberia will not suffer for player. If you look at the Western world, the Western world, the other people don't call their own countries league. They call it, they got programs for it. So now they get black league, they got quarter league, they got under 17, under 18, under 19, all of these leading. They put got it. It's why it's a build up the, 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 the sport. So I think if all of these countries got three, three teams into the National League, from third division up to first division, I tell you for free, man, we will enjoy sport in, the, in this country, and our brothers will go out and play the better ball. The notion of Liberian players, that's Syria, look, let us do away with that notion. Liberian players are serious, but they don't have the support. How will you come with playing football in Ifa Arena? Football players don't deal with Kabahatri and much. It break you down. The Kabahatri break you down. Football players don't eat too much food and full of fat. In the first way in Liberia, our footballer doesn't have diet. We doesn't have a diet. Where we come from practicing, you find me, I can't pass right around here, eating some of the dirty cobble from around the street. It breaks me down. It gets tough us and things. And when tough us enter into the joints, you know what it costs. It costs a great breakdown. So 
I suggest and I, I recommend to the FA, to LFA, even to our president, he's a man at law school. He played football from the doors until he won the green carpet. He didn't just stop on the green carpet, but he beat the whole world. He beat the whole world in football. That's the reason why we call him Conjure Giant. He's a man, he was successful in everything that he put his hands in. So we pray and work with him, we ask him for him to be able to help these young people. Let us build on our scream to sport. And I also pray and ask him for these young guys to keep them together too also. The, co the president can create a program, not on a sport, but I, I ask him at least for every district to open a vocational school. A vocational school for young people. Where well, when this man not get anything to do on the street today, tomorrow he can go down there and learn something. I myself I yeah. Since I got to high school, I was running twice. But God will have a certain that came to his scholarship. I went, I was able to get one of his scholarship, I went to school. I did general construction, two years. And now I'm benefiting for it. So I pray that he should do the same for other people. Let us change our countries around. If you take your survey around the world, the educated people of the country, the population, they're between 16 to 20, all around the world. But the skills, the skilled people dominate the country. Skills build country. The great America, everyone off waiting to go. That skill build America. China, Roger, all of them that skill build these places. And skills can come through sport. I listen to him when he went first to empower young people through sport. I think there should be one of their general in the sport uh, arena to be able to help these young people. Samuel Pavon. I live at the Elevate Junction. Okay, you are on the program, what's the latest? Okay. And we are discussing the game that took place on Sunday at the SK East Coast Complex between Mount Serrano and Bond County, the final of the county meeting. Yeah. Can you tell me, did you monitor the game? Yeah, I watched the final. Okay, how was the entire game? It was okay. It was okay. Be uh, Most of the winning, at least it, like, everybody winning because we all from the rural counties, we desire in Most of the so in Most of the when we won again, we, we felt happy. Although I was shame for Bongante because they dropped me in the league. They from Nima, uh, they dropped me, but nevertheless, I was shame for them. But unfortunately for me, they never won. So we, we, we cannot say why they never won or they. Is that is what God planned. So um, on the page, tell me about the security system. How about the security system? Uh, security system are okay. As we all know that uh, on the field of play, the security system are okay. But even in the, in, in the great Europe, when, when, when there is game going on, there are other people trying plastic or the one and so that one was just a common a normal routine of football. So it was not something that was strange or so. The security system was intact. Yes, yes. Yeah, they need support. I watch, I'm trying to petition the Liberian government so that they can see how best they can strike a jam meet to support our young brothers and sisters because. They will come on the county meet, just play the county meet, and they just go sit down back in the village. They don't do nothing. So we are begging the, 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 the government to at least to see our best. They can find another way of me around the center, at least a board to go and learn how to play better football. For me, I don't want this the European League because I feel jealous when I win this the European League. Because my brother is not there, my brother is not playing there. So I feel jealous, so I don't want to say. I only want to count me, we go and go, I will see Gil man, I will see Basel man, and I will see a crew man there. Yeah, I also want to petition the government. They said that they come to take with the money show up on the street. It is a burning issue. It really worries me. As you can see, I reduce because this is the only way I earn my living. I'm a student of the University of Liberia. This is what we earn our living, and we don't have anywhere to go. We don't have anything to do, and this is what we used to. They said we don't want to increase the rate. We are not the one that increase the rate. The rate is increased by the bureau and the Fulani that, that control our, our, our business and, uh, system. Our president said when he took over, when he take over, he would give the business and system back to the librarian. So if you're taking money to your where will we go? You want to start unrobbing, going here and there? We don't have nowhere to go. 
We don't have our own rate. If we go to a rate, any rate of food I make, we can get cheese for. You go to the blue, the blue have, have larger rate, more than the way we cheese for. But it's still, it's still like coming to us on the street, but it, I know, next week, and I don't know what to do. We don't know where to go, so. I, I heard from my comrades, and they said they, 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 they heard it white because for me, for, long, like for a long time, I stopped monitoring radio, and they said that they read one newspaper also. So I heard it from I'm not, you know. Yeah, seen it. Yeah, but it really it worried me because if my friend can say it, it, happen, it can happen to me, so it really worried me. So what's your plan to say to Monserrado, the king of Monserrado, and the supporters? What's your plan to say? Uh, my final message is uh, they should not stop there. They should keep courage. Next December will soon be coming. But I think that they will not carry December because Nimakani is going to carry it. I'm Tufiro S. Bantu. Tio, where do you live? I live in Grand Basel County. Okay, uh, so I believe you are in Monrovia. Right now. Right now, you are all the way here. Yeah, I'll be doing it. You are on the program, what's the latest? Welcome on the program. Okay, you are welcome. Today we are discussing a game that took place on the 22nd of April. The candidate me found out, right? Did you monitor Of course I did. I went on the feed the first half and I left because I have to go back. Tell me, how was it from your own point of view? Actually, the game was not bad. And there was some strange thing that we saw. Maybe upon the completion of the game, there was some strange thing that we saw that haven't been in candidate me before. But actually, my problem I have with where the game was the security system was not in place at all because the perimeter was flooded all with spectators which were not supposed to be and moreover our security they were not vigilant enough to put the situation under control and that place was just crowded up and the kind of me this year was impressive but not as compared to those ones that are passed because it was already you know organized so we hope that the one are coming on We'll be well organized, uh, we'll be able to uh, to see our boys and for all to be happy with them. So do you think that they, these young, young, young players, they are all uh, young people coming up, do you think that they have uh, extra support from what they do have? Sure, sure, sure. And one thing I would want to recommend to the federal counties heads is that they should, they should, they should build, a, 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 how you call it, a hall for those guys that will be for the, the, the county team, that a camp for them. That will be able to host them in time or when I got when the time is drawing near, that they will be able to camp then they should build a, a, a camp for them, that they will be having facilities and to keep those guys off. And moreover, they shouldn't just let the men lose after the candidate meet or the tournament is over, turn and lose, and then they can't get them again, all the kind of things. That will cause the player crisscrossing, play for Bone, play for Nima, play for Lofa, all the kind of things. But if they are well taken care of by the county, then of course they will be committed to the county. Once they are still or, or in the range, they are not promoted to first division level, they will still be able to play for the county and the team will be together. And then they will be able to do better and the team will be colorful. Yeah. Uh, what I want to recommend to the president is that um, he's, he himself he came from the background of, uh, of football. So what he need to do so I got it through the Ministry of UM Sports to empower, you know, to, to have a program that will be able to hold the guys together, that they will give them strength and courage so that they will be able to build their career. From the country meet, they can be promoted and they can be or, or be taken by some of the first division team and they can promote their career and they can be a good cool football player for the national team as well. So that is my recommendation. Your final word to the players and supporters of uh, my final word to the players uh, for all the various counties is that they should keep courage and they should be committed to their talent because it's what you know God chose them to do and through the talent it's the same thing if you look at the president today the president should be that role model so it, it, that is the talent that God gave you and whatsoever talent God gave you if you use it the rightful way you will be able you know to, to succeed and excel in it so I encourage them that they should keep it up and be a good uh, players of the nation and be disciplined as well.